Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another new video on my channel. You are currently watching our Thailand series and this one is going to be the third video of that series. If you are new to my channel and you haven't watched any of my previous videos, I highly recommend you to watch them first so that you can follow us along our journey and also maintain continuity. The link to the entire Thailand series will be there in the i button and also in my description box. Feel free to check it out. On the third day of our Bangkok trip, we decided to go to Ampawa Floating Market which is a very famous tourist destination. It is located a bit far away from the mainland of Bangkok and you can reach there in a matter of 2 or 3 hours by car and the car rental usually takes around 1500 baht for the entire trip. While the road journey was absolutely mesmerizing, it was a bummer for us because the Ampawa floating market was closed on the day we were traveling that was a Thursday. So here's the information for you, Ampawa floating market is only open on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. So you should plan your trip accordingly. We roam about and visited a nearby monastery just to feel not wasted. But soon we returned back and prepared for the next day of our trip and this video is all about the trip to Wat Arun. day 4 of our Bangkok trip and we are just outside Sanam Chai metro station nearby to the Ragini Pier ready to go to Wat Arun. Good morning everyone here's another day at Bangkok and today we are going to Wat Arun one of the most famous Buddhist monasteries and shrines here in Bangkok so I just came out of Sanam Chai there you can see the metro station and now we are going to Ragini Pier where we will take the boat to Wat Arun it's going to be a very exciting ride Let's see how it goes. There are many options for you to reach Wat Arun. You can travel by road, you can take the metro or you can also experience the ferry rides which are also very unique and a major attraction here in Bangkok. Traveling by a ferry is not only an exciting adventure but also a wonderful experience because you can see a different side of Bangkok, the waterways. These waterways are used for business, travel, tourism and a lot more stuff. So my recommendation would be to travel by the ferries as much as you can and it is also not very expensive. So it's pretty affordable way of transport in Bangkok as well. The distance from Rajini Pier to Wat Arun is not really much. It just takes one stop to reach Wat Arun. Wat Arun, also known as the Temple of Dawn, is a Buddhist temple in Bangkok located in the Yai district. This magnificent temple is situated on the Thonburi west bank of the Chao Phraya river. So here I am at Wat Arun, one of the most famous shrines and monasteries here in Bangkok. It is epic, it has lots of history associated with it and we will explore each one of them one by one. The temple derives its name 
from the Hindu god Aruna, often personified as the radiations of the rising sun. Wat Arun is among the best known of Thailand's landmarks. Wat Arun derives its name the Temple of Dawn because the first light of the morning reflects off the surface of this very temple. An interesting fact about Wat Arun is that although the temple had existed since at least the 17th century, its distinctive prank or spires were built in the early 19th century during the reign of King Rama II. Entry is not free for any tourist, so to enter Wat Arun, you have to purchase a ticket of 100 baht per head. Inside, you can find mesmerizing architecture and cultural aspects of Thailand. You have no other choice but to get lost in this beauty and wonder the architectural marvel of these craftsmen. Another interesting fact about Wat Arun is that many people come here to dress up in traditional Thai dresses and get pictures clicked by professional photographers. You can find many shops offering dresses on rentals as well as photography services that you can avail for a price. So if you are visiting Wat Arun anytime soon, do consider trying this out as well. Although we did not try it ourselves, but I would recommend you to do it because it will be a wonderful memory for you to take home. After spending about 3 to 4 hours at Wat Arun, we decided to head back to our hotel because time was running out and we had to get ready for our evening excursion which is the Chao Phraya River Cruise, one of the most awaited events of our Thailand trip. So even though we had no intention to leave this beautiful and marvelous place with a heavy heart we had to bid it farewell with a promise that one day very soon we will again return to Wat Arun. We again availed the ferry service from Wat Arun to Ragini Pier it just took us around 5 minutes and a price of 30 baht. From Rajini Pier, we are once again headed back via metro, that is through the nearest metro station Salam Chai, to our hotel that was located near Bang Pai. 
So that was our day here at Wat Arun. It was amazing, very peaceful, beautiful scenes and architecture and a beautiful boat ride of course. That's how this trip ends and I'll see you in the next one. I would also recommend you to never miss the metro station Sanam Chai because it is one of the most beautifully decorated metro stations in Bangkok. The interiors just looks like a majestic palace. Therefore, whenever you are in Bangkok, make sure to visit Sanam Chai at least once. So that's it for this video. I will be back with a new one very very soon and this is going to be the much awaited Chao Phraya river cruise and I am absolutely sure that this will be your favorite video. So stay tuned, consider subscribing to my channel and sit tight, hold tight, the new video is coming out really really soon. Until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Keep smiling.